Hey, how's it going? So I decided to replace my Intel Xeon 2678U3 for Intel Xeon 2666U3. Uh, I reached it yesterday and installed it this morning, as you can see in the right now in the deal. So one of the reasons uh, I decided to switch is because uh, right now on Taobao and uh, I guess the same on AliExpress outside China is that the 2678 is about three times as much as the 2666. So you can find the 2678 for about uh, 600 yuan, which is about $120 Canadian with tax. And the 2666 is only for uh, $40 Canadian. And uh, that's about uh, 100, uh, 200 yuan. And despite having only a 10% uh, difference in terms of uh, multi-core performance, and actually for single core performance, the 2666 uh, is eight percent better so there's very little reason to keep the 2678 especially um, since if there's that bit of a difference i think that the price is going to drop soon so if you have this processor uh, i would strongly suggest you uh, you sell it unless you really need that 10 percent difference compared to the 2666 uh, and uh, the other reason is that i needed better single core performance uh, eight percent is not a huge. It's not a huge difference, but uh, for one third of the price, uh, it's worth it. And uh, the third reason is that um, I plan to build a, a cheap X ninety nine server in the twenty six 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 as uh, the the best uh, performance price point right now. So let's take a look at the specs. So in hardware info uh, app displays the wrong name. It's the CNC displays a E5 1681 uh, V3. I'm not sure why, but uh, if you watch a lot of Intel Xeon videos, uh, you may know that uh, these processors are not, are not were not sold directly to to customers, but but were uh, custom made for big tech companies. And I think the 2666 was for uh, Amazon, and the 2678 was for Facebook um, uh, data centers. So uh, right now they're decommissioning a, bu uh, a bunch of X99. They started a few years ago, and uh, that's why it puts a huge pressure on the price, and you get um, you get uh, cheap prices like that for a still very good performance. So it has a uh, 10 cores, 20 thread, as you uh, probably saw, uh, compared to the 12 core, 24 threads for the 2678, and the base clock is higher. It's a uh, 2.9 gigahertz. As opposed to 2.5, and the uh, max turbo is a uh, 3.5 gigahertz, as opposed to a 3.3, I think, for the 2678. Uh, that's why the the single core performance is uh, is better. Uh, another interesting point is that it supports uh, DDR3 memory, and uh, that's important because DDR3 is a uh, it's cheaper than DDR4, of course, but for but delivers the same performance when paired with the Intel Xeon. So uh, you can take a look at the um, Mycos hardware uh, benchmarks. And um, he did uh, some very detailed benchmarks and the, the performance is quite similar. And my own test as well as uh, the performance uh, turned out to be quite similar. So that makes the 2666 uh, even more attractive. So you get, you get really, really good uh, perfor uh, performance price uh, scenario. So let's take a look at the Cinebench benchmark. So a multi-core, uh, I got uh, 8,748 points and single core, 763 points. And if you want to compare that to the previous, the previous CPU I got, uh, I did a video a while ago last year about the 2678 and um, paired with the Juan and Z motherboard. So I'm using the same motherboard, I forgot to mention. So we get uh, 9,546 points. This is uh, only 10% more. And single core, you got less, you got 8% less, uh, 709 points. So that's some very good result for uh, one third of the price. Now for a quick test with Unreal. Uh, of course you need more in extensive uh, tests uh, depending on your use case, but uh, for the classic shooter game, uh, example that uh, Epic Games offers for Unreal Engine uh, for some tutorials and also to test Unreal Engine. 
uh, you can check with the high-rise map uh, the illumination takes three minutes uh, seven seconds that's compared to a two minute 45 seconds on the 2678 so that's not a huge difference uh, again for one third of the price that's really good as for Linux support obviously it works quite well same as for the 2678 I did a stress test uh, so far it runs for it ran for uh, tw uh, 27 minutes and it's around uh, 50 degrees 55 degrees so it remains quite cool under stress same as for the 2678 and if we run a quick test for a uh, machine learning or we train on, on the game uh, Pong, Atari Pong. So that involves a lot of simulation on the CPU. So they will run uh, 24, uh, 20 environments at the same time to feed the GPU. And the training FPS is, uh, is similar to uh, what we got on the 2678, maybe 10% less. So uh, that's normal considering the benchmarks. So I already did a previous tutorial on how to train this model. So I'll put the link down below. As for the other benchmarks, um, I suggest you go watch the MyCos hardware videos. Uh, they're very detailed. So I won't uh, try to recreate these benchmarks. Uh, he already does them uh, very well and better than I could do. Another point I forgot to mention at the beginning of the video is uh, about the Turbo Unlock hack, which can give you around 10%, 50% uh, performance gain depending on how well you cool your CPU. I don't use this hack because I prefer having a maximum stability. But from, my, from what I saw um, on YouTube uh, and uh, looking at the Mycos Autoware's videos, uh, it could be quite stable for games at least. And um, also he has some, uh, again, some very detailed tests about the, the performance gains you can have on uh, different benchmarks. And the uh, end games so I suggest you take a look uh, of course I'm gonna do more videos on the other machine learning task and the, and the unreal engine uh, type of task uh, building uh, other maps and also a compilation test uh, because in this video I just covered the uh, Cinebench R23 and um, the high-rise map which is uh, too few but it's just I just wanted to give a an intro I just install it today so uh, that's it if you have any questions uh, please uh, feel free to ask uh, down below and uh, don't forget to uh, like and subscribe thank you see you next time